Hey guys, Jeff Lewis from Lewis Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab here in Point Pleasant. Wanted to go over today one of the more common injuries that we see really at this point throughout the entire spectrum of a baseball player's career, all the way from the high school to the professional, certainly professional, what we're certainly the professional world, what we're seeing so far. And that is what a UCL sprain is. So, first off, what is the UCL? UCL stands for the ulnar collateral ligament. It is the main stabilizer on the inside part of the elbow and one of the more commonly affected ligaments in the elbow for pitchers more than anything. Position players, especially outfielders, will have UCL injuries from time to, from time, to time, but this is most commonly affected in pitchers. So the UCL, it runs from this bump on the inside part of your elbow here, which we call the medial epicondyle. So it starts here. And then it comes down to a spot called the sublime tubercle on the ulna. And your ulna is this long bone on the, on the forearm here that if you have your elbow bent like this and you find that, that bump on the back of your elbow and you run down, that's your ulna. So the main job of the UCL, again, this is also known as the Tommy John ligament. So when we're talking about Tommy John surgery, we're referring to a UCL reconstruction. So the job of the UCL is to stabilize against valgus stresses during the pitching motion. And a valgus stress is what is placed on the elbow when we get into max external rotation, otherwise known as layback in the pitching motion. So when you get into this maximum external rotation, and again, some pitchers can get their forearm just about parallel to the ground. So they're putting a ton of pressure on the inside part of that elbow. But over time, that ligament will eventually lengthen and lengthen. And where we have UCL sprains is well, more so when we have UCL ruptures is when that ligament ruptures like so. Now, from a sprain standpoint, we commonly more so talk about just UCL ruptures, but you can have strains of UCL where you just have more of either a stretching of that ligament or a grade two sprain where you have a partial tear of that ligament. Grade three is when you have a full rupture of that ligament. And there's different treatment options that are based on what the ligament quality looks like. So is it a really just worn down ligament or is it a ligament in somewhat good integrity that just happened to rupture, and then the location of the rupture, whether it's on the bone up here, the medial epicondyle, the ulna, or right in the middle of that ligament. So again, different degrees of UCL sprains going from a stretching of the ligament, partial tear, or a full rupture. And again, it's the full rupture that ends up leading to Tommy John surgery, which is again, also known as a UCL reconstruction. And during that, they take out the injured graft, they take a graft from either your forearm or your hamstring, and they put it in place of that old damaged ligament. And that's at least a year of rehab. It's usually about 12 to 16 months of rehab and in, in pitchers especially. So again, there's different types of surgical techniques and options to go about it. You know, if you're a pitcher that has a UCL rupture, you're going to need Tommy John to get back to pitching. It's as simple as that. Some pitchers that have a high-grade partial tear, so that partial tear of that, of that ligament, sometimes they can get back to some type of play with, uh, with or without the help of orthobiologics, such as PRP or other types of injections like that. But it's one of those things where once you have that high-grade, especially a high-grade partial tear, if you are not able to get back to pitching and fail rehab, then it will likely end up meet, meaning that you need that you need Tommy John surgery because that ligament just can't handle the stresses of pitching. So if you're a baseball player or a pitcher and you've either been curious about what goes into a UCL sprain or Tommy John rehab, or you've just been diagnosed with one, something as simple as a UCL sprain, or are even scheduled to have Tommy John surgery or currently going through Tommy John surgery, we hope you found this content helpful. If you have, go ahead and like and subscribe below to our channel where we have a lot more baseball-specific content and check out some of our other free resources below dedicated to baseball players specifically.